ममता मॉडर्न सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल एच ब्लॉक विकासपुरी आर इंटीग्रेशन प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ फिजिक्स ऑन फिजिक्स बिहाइंड मॉन्यूमेंट्स ऑफ दिल्ली एंड सिक्किम फेसिटेड बाय द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्व साइंस अंडर द मेंटरशिप ऑफ आर फिजिक्स टीचर मिस्टर मनोज सिंह Physics science that deals with the structure of matter and the interactions between the fundamental constituents of the observable universe. It is the broad cast sense physics concerned with all aspects of nature on both the macroscopic and submicroscopic levels. What is physics? Physics is the basic physical science until rather recent times physics and natural philosophy were used interchangeably for the science whose aim is the discovery and formulation of the fundamental laws of nature the roles of physics in our modern society physics touches every aspect of our lives it involves the study of matter energy and their interactions as such it is one area of science that cuts across all other subjects other sciences are reliant on the concepts and techniques developed through physics the opportunities for physics in the future the huge technological developments of the last century have of course come with a price tag particular our use of earth's finite resources triggered by the sustainable demands by world increasing population has established managing these resources without depleting them for good a concept known as sustainable development is one of the urgent challenges we face today physics will play a crucial role in attaining these goals taking clean water as an example membranes that are made from carbon nanotubes rolled up to the sheets of graphite can be used to block passages of bacteria virus heavy metals and other pollutants Jantar Mantar is a famous monument located in the heart of New Delhi. It is a good place particularly for children to understand our ancient techniques to get the idea of the time and the planets when the watches and the other scientific equipments were not available. Who built it? Jantar Mantar was built by Maharaja Sawai Jai Singh II in 1724. He was a noble in Mughal court and a keen astronomer. In order to have accurate measurements of time and space, he built five observations which spread across Ujjain, Varanasi, Mathura, Jaipur, and New Delhi. of a pair of cylindrical structures each with a pillar at the center the pillar and walls are equal heights and is also equal to the radius of the structure in open sky and this yantra is used for measuring the altitude of stars this yantra was constructed at the jaipur and delhi observatories only samrat yantra this is a huge sundial used for calculating and keeping track of time The rays of the sun makes a shadow from which time is noted. A similar construction can be seen at the Sun Temple in Konar. There the wheels of the temple serve as multiple time glasses. Putting a finger at the center casts a shadow on the wheel which can tell time accurate upon milliseconds. Jay Prakash and Mishra Yantra. Jay Prakash. These are two concave hemispherical structures used to find out the position of sun and other heavenly bodies. Mishra Yantra. It is a mixed instrument. This instrument is used to depict the time of noon of various cities across the globe and Delhi's local time. One of the most famous tourist spots in Sikkim, the Singshore Bridge. As a piece of engineering, this bridge is extremely impressive and it is well worth a visit. It connects two villages in Sikkim. The views from the bridge are breathtaking. Physics behind it. Compression. A force that acts to push together on an object that compress or shorten it. Typically the top cords of the bridge will be in compression. Different truss designs spread out the forces so that various internal parts will be in compression as well. 
tension, a force that acts to pull on the opposite sides of an object that expands or lengthens the thing it is acting on. Suspension Bridge A suspension bridge is one where cables, ropes or chains are strung across the river or whatever the obstacle is and the deck is suspended from these cables. Modern suspension bridges have two tall towers which the cables are strung from. The tower supports the majority of the roadway's weight. Compression and Tension The force of compression pushes down on the bridge's deck but because it is a suspended roadway, the cables transfer the compression to the towers which dissipates the compression directly into the earth. Tension The supporting cables running between the two anchorages are literally stretched from the weight of the bridge as they run from anchorage to anchorage. The anchorages are also under tension, but since they are held firmly to the earth, the tension they experience is dissipated. Suspension bridges are strong due to their steel and geometry. Tension is mainly acting upon the bridge and the force pulling it apart is greater than the force compressing it. When under tension, steel is a very strong material that can sustain the tension so steel cables are the typical choice for bridge construction. The bridge is supported by towers which is under compression that are made of steel and sit on a giant concrete piers. Comparison between Delhi and Sikkim Contents Electricity consumption in Sikkim, electricity consumption in Delhi, day length in Delhi, day length in Sikkim. Electricity consumption in Sikkim. Foundation of power sector in Sikkim was laid on 27th May 1927 with the commissioning of first micro hydro project at Rani Kola near Gangtok with its installed capacity of 50 kW. Sikkim consumption of electricity per capita was at level of 687 kilowatt hours in 2016, up from 685 kilowatt hours previous year. This is a change of 0.24%. During this era, activities under power sector in Sikkim were not at all significant. Till the year 1954, operation and maintenance of power supply system were managed by the help of four men and an electrician under the supervision of Sikkim Public Works Department. In the year 1957, keeping in view of growing demand for electricity and as a standby measure, a diesel powerhouse was established and commissioned at Gangtok with a capacity of 257 kW. The then Prime Minister of India, late Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, inaugurated it on October 1, 1958. The Energy and Power Department of Sikkim is engaged in the generation of electricity its transmission to various load centers and finally distribution to the consumers of all categories. As a whole, the department is responsible for the development of power projects in the state in order to meet the ever-growing requirement and raise revenue from there. Now with the liberalized power policy, Sikkim is poised to gain in a big way. Electricity consumption in Delhi on an average, an electrified household in Delhi consumed about 260 kWh of electricity monthly in 2016-17 that were up from 155 kWh in 2000, which is almost three times the national figure of 90 kWh. Overall, electricity demand during the severe lockdown dropped substantially compared to the corresponding time in the previous years and the pre-pandemic times. But it also bounced back substantially with the partial reopening and higher heat stress during the unlockdown phases. On the eve of Janta curfew, the average electricity demand dropped by 23% compared to the previous day, 21st March, or by 18% if compared with the previous Sunday, which is also a holiday. During the lockdown phases, the lowest demand was recorded on 29 March, just before the onset of high summer. It rose to 4,000 MV by the end of May, the high summer, thus, the demand more than doubled within the lockdown period and with small reopening of the economy in the later part. It is also notable that the overall reduction was not that dramatic even though there was mass exodus of migrant workers and their families from the city that started during lo Lockdown 2.0 and continued through Lockdown 3.0 and Lockdown 4.0. It has been reported that about 7 to 8 lakh migrants had left the city that implies less active households in Delhi in that time frame. 
Despite this, city's overall demand for electricity increased substantially. Migrants are small users of electricity. Day length in Delhi. Day length in Sikkim. Sikkim. Sikkim is a state in northern eastern India. It borders Tibet in the north and northeastern, Bhutan in the east, Nepal in the west, and West Bengal in the south. Sikkim is also close to India Siliguri Corridor near Bangladesh. It is the least populous and second smallest among the Indian state. A part of the eastern Himalaya, Sikkim is notable for its biodiversity, including pine and the subtropical climate. Delhi. Delhi, officially known as the National Capital Territory of Delhi NCT, is a city and union territory of India containing New Delhi, the capital of India. It is bordered by the state of Haryana on three sides and by Uttar Pradesh to the east. Delhi ranks fifth among the Indian state and union territories in Human Development Index. Delhi has the the second La highest GDP per capita in India. Soil Delhi. The Delhi Rides, which is the northernmost extension of Aravalli Mountains, consists of quarterized road and extend from southern part of the territory to western bank of Yamuna. Second, the hills of Sikkim mainly consists of genus and the sticks which weathers to produce generally poor and shallow ground field slides. The soil is coarse with large concentration of iron oxide. It ranges from neutral to acidic and is lagging in organic and mineral nutrients. Climate Delhi The climate of Delhi is an overlap between monsoon and it is humid subtropical and semi-arid, with high variation between summer and winter temperatures and precipitation. Average rainfall is about 797.3 mm of rain. Extreme temperature have ranged from minus 2.2 degrees Celsius to 48.4 Celsius. Sikkim Sikkim climate ranges from subtropical in the south to tundra in the north. Most of the inhabited regions of Sikkim experience a temperate climate with temperatures seldom exceeding 28 degrees Celsius in summer. The average annual temperature for most of Sikkim is around 80 degrees Celsius.
पॉपुलेशन दिल्ली दिल्ली पॉपुलेशन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थर्टी पॉइंट टू मिलियन थ्री करोड़ विद इन द नेशनल कैपिटल रीजन एंड इज लोकेटेड इन द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट सिक्किम सिक्किम इज वन ऑफ द स्मॉलेस्ट स्टेट इन इंडिया बोथ इन टर्म्स ऑफ पॉपुलेशन एंड एरिया द प्रेजेंट पॉपुलेशन ऑफ सिक्किम स्टैंड एट सिक्स पॉइंट सेवेंटी टू लैख एज कम्पेयर टू द लास्ट ईयर फिगर ऑफ सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्सटी फाइव लैख इन टू What is AQI? The Air Quality Index is an index for reporting air quality on a daily basis. It is a measure of how air pollution affects one's health within a short time period. The purpose of the AQI is to help people know how the local air quality impacts their health. How AQI is calculated? Different countries use different point scales to report air quality. Every day monitors record concentration of the major pollutants. These raw measurements are converted into a separate AQI value for each pollutant using standard formula developed by EPA. Categories along with the table. Some objectives of AQI. Compare air quality conditions at different locations or cities. It also helps in identifying faulty standards and inadequate monitoring programs. Also, who is most at risk from air pollution? People with lung diseases such as asthma, children including teenagers, some healthy people are more sensitive to ozone. Looking at Delhi along with the pie chart, particulate matter levels in Delhi, air quality, air pollution is represented by the annual concentration of particulate matter. Causes of poor air quality in Delhi. Stubborn burning also affects Delhi air quality when crops are being harvested. Motor vehicle emissions are one of the causes of poor air quality also. Talking about Sikkim to prevent, control, and abate air pollution in the country, the government of India enacted central legislation called the Air Act, 1981. Let's look after the death rate in Sikkim along with the graph. Air pollution is a global public health emergency. Currently, 6,10,577 people in Sikkim are breathing toxic air that does not meet WHO's clean air guideline. The district with the worst air pollution in Sikkim is East Sikkim.